right. as we've laid our weapons down because of the way we were raised and the way we were taught to just police ourselves, we still, still, we still get killed mm -hmm. for just complying. That's what taking a knee and all those things are about. It doesn't matter how we play the game. It is always a disadvantage. It's come back with Erica Cobb. And this week, I am so excited to have my friend, pop star and trans activist, Mila Jam. What's good? It's Mila Jam, everyone. How are you feeling? It's so lovely to see your face again. It's been too long. Well, well girl, first of all, um, this is not about me. This is about you. Um, I <laughs> what you, why you are here is so important. And we've actually, since then, you've been on Daily Blast Live. You've been so transparent about your story. Um, you shared your career with us, which I'm really excited to uh, play actually one of your original songs at the end of this yes. podcast. So everyone stay tuned for that. But Mila, so here's the thing. There is so much happening in the world right now. We are yes. in the middle of a revolution with Black Lives Matter. Um, of course, this month is Pride Month. And mm -hmm. there are a lot of conversations that have been so long overdue. And not only are you a pop star, but you're also an activist for Black lives, for trans lives. And I really mm -hmm. want to delve into your thoughts on what's happening in the world right now. Now, when people are talking about Black Lives Matter, it's so important that we also add to the equation that if all black lives don't matter, then all black lives can't matter. So tell us what you are doing in terms of being an activist and speaking out about all black lives matter. I want to say that is absolutely correct. Um, this revolution we're having is sort of unprecedented. We have been in the middle of a pandemic. Um, people have been locked up in their homes and been without work, have been unemployed and trying to figure out what to make of, like what sense to make out of life. And, you know, as a black trans woman, I feel like the heat in so many different intersectional ways. I feel it, you know, as a woman, I feel it as being black, I feel it as being trans. And so when we're having this movement of coming, you know, to like people are fed up. We're all fed up. We are so over this misogyny and patriarchy and this racism that is sort of that our country is basically built on. And so we're trying to find a way to just really tear it all down and reconstruct it so that it includes the people who built it. And so I just want to make it make it clear that you can't overlook the LGBTQIA plus community. You can't overlook the black queer community because we are just as much a part of the struggle as anyone that is cis or hetero normative um, and that identify, you know, as, as a cis person in the black community. You say you honor us. You say you honor us. You say you uplift us. You say you uplift us. Then where the f are we? Then where the f are we? June 1st was a rally on Stonewall that was specifically to honor the deceased trans people that we've lost. I was asked to go and I was asked to read names and that was it. And as I was there with all the people, I think that day there were maybe a few thousand people, two, three thousand. It was not really on my heart to speak, but in the moment to get up to read names, I just got overwhelmed with emotion. And I, I just stood up and I spoke from my heart. Please love your sisters. sisters. Please love your brothers. Please love, love your brothers. brothers. Please love your family that doesn't look like you. Please love your family that doesn't look like you. That doesn't love like you. That, that doesn't, doesn't love, love like you. That doesn't speak like you. That doesn't speak like you. That doesn't emote like you. That doesn't emote like you. That doesn't learn like you. That doesn't learn like you. Make space. Make space. For all the things. For all the things. Outside of yourself. Outside of yourself. That matter. That matter. That matter more than you. That matter more than you. That matter more than what companies tell you matter. That matter more than what companies tell you matter. Remember this moment. Remember this moment. Because we are love. Because we are love. Because we shine bright. It became something that has been resonating with the community. Um, and it's been shared many times. Naomi Campbell. I saw this. that girl. 
on her. I saw <laughs> Naomi's post. The icon <laughs> legend, Naomi Campbell. Naomi, I love. It was just a historic moment for me personally because I never felt so listened to, seen. It was a moment of, of we got to stop what we're doing. It was not people being like, let me get my vodka Red Bull. Let me get a, 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 a flag. Can I, what song is the DJ playing? People were focused and we were listening to each other. And even doing the saying what I said, the call and response was powerful because it just reminded me people were listening. Mila, thank you so much for spending time with us on Comeback with Erica Cobb. Of course, check her out on all of her social platforms. You can find her also on my platform, comeback.tv. And for more on Mila, just continue to follow her. But as we end this conversation, we have to listen to Mila's hit Better Days. It is a banger. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with us on Comeback with Erica Cobb. I sing out a prayer for our better days. Yeah. Your smile says to walk away for the rest of the day. Why do you hold my heart? Then rip it all apart. Why make our love so hard? To my knees I fall And I'm praying for better days, better days